Buongiorno guys, it's Max Sinestra, I'm in the only city of Varanasi, the oldest living city on earth. I'm super excited and very, very starving. Andiamo! Welcome to Varanasi, the spiritual art of India and one of the oldest cities on earth. Today we're going to explore this ancient city, enjoy some incredibly delicious vegetarian street food and catch in a glimpse of the night ceremony by the sacred Ganges River. Let's get started! For our first meal of the day of our Varanasi food tour, we came to this local place to have puri and some veggies. Oh, oh he's making it, he's making it. Thank you so much. Thank you. So here we have, we have sabji, which is a mix of veggies. We got paneer, chickpeas, potatoes, and a gravy, and this fried puri. Let's break a piece of the puri and scoop up some of the veggies. This is gonna be an amazing vegetarian tour. Buon appetito. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's mm. It's good. Acha. It's very good. Jalebi. Can I have one? Thank you. They also gave me some jalebi, which is this uh, very famous Indian uh, dessert covered in uh, saffron and syrup. Oh. Explodes in your mouth. Super juicy, gooey. Yeah, I can really taste the saffron. You came here for one, and we got two. 160 years. 160? Yes. How no many, how many generations? Yeah, no need of my generation. Oh my goodness. My grandfather, my father, and my son. Oh wow, this is incredible. 160 year old shop. Incredible. So we came to have last city, this is a popular place. There are quite a few varieties. Here we have apple lassi, banana, pomegranate, and chocolate. You can take one with fruit, one with dry fruit. Okay, one with fruits, one dry fruit. This is Indian national drink, yogurt drink. Uh, soap is 96 years old. Mm -hmm. 96 years old. Oh, wow. Another, another legendary spot inside the old town of Baranasi. You from? Italy, I'm from Italy. What is this? Guava. Oh, guava. Pineapple. Some more fruit. Apple. Apple. Out of Pomegranate. Yeah, no. Lots of things happen. As our last was being prepared, we unexpectedly came across a truly unique event. Amazing. It's dead body. Dead body, yes. More than 100 years old. Oh, more than 100 years old. So they commemorate, they celebrate the body. Oh. Here, the deceased are cremated, and it's believed that this ritual helps the soul find liberation from the cycle of life and death. It's a profound and important practice in Hinduism. Now, let's get back to the last. This must be the most unique last I've ever tried. Super colorful. You are an artist. <laughs> Thank you very much. Look at this lassi. Oh, by the way, it's mega full of ingredients. All fruits, we got apple, guava, in saffron in it, pomegranate. Let's try to mix it up. Buon appetito. This is like a summer bite, full of fruits, refreshing. Got a touch of coconut in it, the yogurty. Milky. This is definitely what I needed. Now, what I really look forward to is this one. With dry fruits, pistachio, almonds, cashews, a bit of saffron. Look, this is a masterpiece. I don't even want to stir it. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, buon appetito. <laughs> Look at this guy. You like last <laughs> This is even better. I think there is some saffron in it and mango. This is a 96 year old shop and the owner is super friendly and passionate about what he does. It's amazing. Might be a bit touristy, but to be honest, I don't care. If it tastes good, the owner is friendly, the environment, the vibes, the atmosphere is good. It's a win. While strolling through the old town, I spotted a man making a unique dessert that I never tasted before. 
I just had to try. It's made with the milk? Yes, only milk. Oh, oh, that one that you're making? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. huh? And what's the name of this? This Kalakan. Kalakan. You taste? Okay, I taste it. Let's give it a try. Oh. Yeah, saffron, ghee, sugar, semolina, very milky. And I think that Alessandra, yeah, it's good. It's good, it's really nice, not too sweet. It's really nice. And this is Malai Puri. Yes, yes. So it's making it with the, see now it's boiling the milk. Je parle français. Comment allez-vous? Ah, je vois bien. Combien? <laughs> you speak French. Yeah, a little Let, bit. A little bit. Un petit peu. Yeah. Let, let's give it a try. Oh. Oh wow, this is so good. It's good? Yeah. With power. Oh yeah, it's good for energy, it's for power. With power. It's like puri, the puri that we tried before, but moist and made with milk. And it's not too sweet. And I love to support these local businesses. How many years the shop? Uh, 90. Oh, 90 years. Yeah. No matter where you stop, I think Varanasi, every place is at least 90 years old. This city is incredible. It's the oldest living city on earth. <music> This place is just incredible. Just walking and getting lost in the tiny little alleys. See, full of colors, food, just so vibrant. You have to be ready for the unexpected, like those ceremonies, temples. You never know what you bump into. I think we bump into a ceremony. Beautiful, look at the flowers. The smell of Varanasi has to be one of the most unique cities I've ever been to. For lunch, we're going to a super local restaurant where they serve traditional Paranasi food. Yum. Namaskar. Namaskar. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. They cook. These things right here, these are made with all wheat flour and they stuff with ground flour and they cook it in cow dung. Look at the mountain over there. And over here, I think they're making some stew, some dal. And everything is cooking cow down. This is unbelievable. Super local, super traditional. This is incredible. And made by masters. This is a village style cooking. I think we are ready to cook the abati. Let's go. Opala. Oh, yes. And this will get slowly cooked on coals. The fire is underneath. It keeps on turning them. Ooh. The funny thing is, it doesn't feel hot at all. Oh, the dal. The dal is ready. Oh, yeah. oh look. see all the veggies and the spices. This is pure village food. Even the second pot is ready. It's bubbling. Oh, look at the chili, tomatoes. <laughs> Mamma mia, that's a lot. Then he's bringing them to the restaurant. Can't wait to try it out. We're gonna have a feast. A huge tali, vegetarian tali. In there ready. Oh yes. You can hear the sound. You know what it smells like? Like pizza. So dough cooking a buffet oven. I think they're going to give it a bit of a shake to get rid of the ashes and the dirt. Yeah. See now they're clean. Oh, wow. Acha, now it's time to eat. We were about to enter the restaurant. By the way, there are two different entrances and they're cooking over here as well. So cool. They're boiling milk. And by the way, this part of India is really famous for their dairy products. I believe we have to try whatever they're making. Oh my goodness, this place is incredible. How beautiful is that? Let's go and find the spot for two. Okay, we have tomato chutney with onion, parsley, and this is a mint one. Here we are. Party, sattu party, paneer party. Dal, that's what we saw the making of before. Yeah, excuse me. You just break into two parts, please. Oh, okay. Let me break it into two parts. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, again. Beautiful. This one as well. Yeah, also. Oh, this was the sweet paneer. And the cover in ghee. 
Thank you so much. I think we are set to go. We have the two chutneys, a selection of fried goodies, all made with rice, and this is with paneer. Then we have the bati. This one is stuffed with cheese. And this one, I believe we satu with the ground flour. I'm so excited. I need to give it a try. A bit of choca, roasted veggies, a bit of tomato chutney. Take more. Take more. Little bit of coriander one. This one? Yeah, coriander. Oh, coriander. Now you eat like a piece of slime. All right. Then it's full of dark. Oh wow, it is amazing. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> the texture, the flavors, the punch of onion, ghee, tomatoes, coriander. It's like a roller coaster. You go salty, savory, a bit of acidity. Then you go sweetness and the mushiness of the sato inside. That completely balances everything. Absolutely legal. Now I want to try the one stuff with paneer. Oh, this tomato chutney. Is incredible. Buon appetito. Mm. This is even better. The creaminess of the paneer plus onion and the dal. Oh, the dal mixed with the ghee. Crazy. It's cooked the old fashioned way, light. And the ghee truly makes a difference. Now I just want to finish it off with the fried paneer. Mm. Looks like mozzarella. And what I want to say, it's all about the experience. As soon as you tap in, you have the village feel style. You got super traditional local food surrounded by very friendly locals. And the food is top notch. Without a doubt, this is super illegal. It's all about the experience. Ah, what a memorable experience. And now, let's go for more. Andiamo. Oh, we are off. Yeah, now we. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Over there. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. And now we're going for chat. Yeah. Thank you so much. Huh? <laughs> Look at all the chats. Look at over there. They are famous for this tamata chats. Where people fighting for their chat. All these snacks full of different Texas flavors and tastes. Spicy, sweet, sour, citrusy. They got it all. I'm fighting for my chart. Yeah, here. Tomato chart. Tomato chart. Oh, the famous tomato chart. Oh, that's it. You can see the chef super busy making the charts, cooking the alo tiki. I think I want one of those and one of this. Tomato chat and alo, alo chat. Thank you. All right, I got it. After waiting for so long, this place is crazy. Look how many people at the back waiting for their chat. This place is super famous for this tomato chat. Full of coarse tomatoes, spices, cilantro, and crunchy stuff on top, and maybe even ghee. Over here, we have aloo, which is potato, full of crunchy goodies, other spices, maybe some peas. Well, we will find it out. This is the beauty and the surprise of the chats, of the snacks, Indian snacks. Okay, I want to go for this one first. I can tell this white thing is sweet yogurt. Okay, let's mix it up. Look at the patty, potato patty. Buon appetito. Mm. Oh, 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 So spicy, creamy, crunchy, mushy, see? All the texture and uh, taste and flavors, sour and sweet. Oh, this is crazy. All in one plate. I also came for this because I, I heard they invented this chart. So that's the real deal, the big deal. Let's mix it up. I can see a thick layer of maybe ghee. Mm. 
the crunch is stuck inside. Oh, see the piece? go. The piece, they're completely pop in your mouth. Then you got the crunchy goodies. I have a bit of ghee, I believe. Then tomato, got that nice, creamy, acidic, almost sweet and spicy, like chat. Oh, this is a really top spot here in Varanasi. If you ever visit in the city, because it's worth it, trust me. You have to come here and get some charts because they are mind blowing. As our journey comes to an end, these memories will stay with us forever. We will always cherish the vibrant culture and mouth-watering cuisine of Varanasi. We carry its essence with us, letting it enrich our personal journeys. Until we meet again.